At this year's D23 Expo, Square Enix and Disney delighted fans of the series by announcing that a long-awaited world based on the Toy Story franchise would be included in the upcoming Kingdom Hearts 3. Although, to fans in the know, this wouldn't come as a surprise, as series creator and director Tetsuya Nomura has commented for some time that he wanted to include the Toy Story franchise in the series. But did you know that his first attempt was not Kingdom Hearts 3? And contrary to some belief, his first attempt wasn't Kingdom Hearts 2 either. Join us as we give you a detailed look at the newest trailer and a long and difficult road to Andy's room, which actually started in the year 2000. Following the success of Nintendo's Super Mario 64, Square Enix, at the time Squaresoft, began to conceptualize a fully immersive 3D game where players could explore open spaces in three dimensions. Internally, there was some criticism. Developers at Square began to suggest that if such a project were to rival Mario, it would only be because of well-known and beloved characters that already existed, like Disney. At the time, Disney and Square had offices in the same building, so the idea of them collaborating wasn't so far-fetched. The project began development in early 2000, with Tetsuya Nomura at the helm. Nomura had recently gained notoriety for his contributions to the smash hit Final Fantasy VII, and Kingdom Hearts was his directorial debut. Kingdom Hearts was realized as an action RPG, where an original character, Sora, travels across various Disney worlds with Donald and Goofy in search of their missing friends. In the early days of development, Square and Disney worked very closely together to ensure that both parties were on the same page about the project. While Disney didn't suggest properties to include, they did work with Square to oversee the implementation of those properties. Originally, there were around 20 Disney worlds for the first game, but there were worlds that were rejected or cut as development went on. In 2015, the game design document for Kingdom Hearts was uncovered, and within it a treasure trove of never-before-seen art and details on the series. One such piece of art was this. Now, upon first glance, it may not appear like much, but on the right you'll see an early design for a Toy Story-themed world, with glimpses of Pizza Planet and Owl's Toy Barn. But for whatever reason, Toy Story didn't end up making the cut for the original Kingdom Hearts. But that didn't stop the developers. It was discovered by game hackers that unused models of Buzz and Woody were hidden in the files of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Actually, some sources say that they're in all versions of Kingdom Hearts 2, but we can't get this confirmed. Anyway, why these characters were left out isn't exactly known. It's possible that the idea was scrapped due to Pixar and Disney restructuring their business relationship, following some tension and then eventual company acquisition. By then, it's possible Nomura wanted to wait until the next numbered entry. Nomura has gone on the record saying his team couldn't imagine a Kingdom Hearts 3 without a Toy Story world. They've been working very closely with Pixar to bring a new Toy Story to life. So, Jason, can you tell us a small bit about what the collaboration between Pixar and Square Enix has been like? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, I've been lucky enough to work at Pixar for 23 years uh, in the story department. Uh, so Buzz and Woody have been in my life for half my life. And I remember the very first meeting uh, when we got around the table and talked about the idea of bringing Buzz and Woody and the gang uh, into the world of Kingdom Hearts. And it, it was so exciting. This is a brand new story. It exists only in Kingdom Hearts 3, and uh, Numero-san and, and his brilliance was able to pitch something that we loved, and John Lasseter has been involved from the first day. I've been a gamer all my life, Yeah. and I'm a huge RPG nerd and love the Kingdom Hearts series, mm -hmm. and I've also worked at Pixar for a long time. And one of my favorite things to work on was um, helping to design the toy versions of Sora, Donald. It looks so good! It looks they so look good. really good. The attention to detail is absolutely stunning, with the graphics surpassing the original 1995 feature. Even if Nomura hadn't confirmed that this story was taking place after Toy Story 2, we could have guessed by the attention to detail on Woody's arm, showing the stitch seam where Andy repaired him at the end of Toy Story 2. Sarge tells Woody that Andy and the missing toys were last spotted at Galaxy Toys, which seems to pull inspiration from both Pizza Planet and Al's Toy Barn. But wait, why didn't they just use Al's Toy Barn? Well, after Woody's escape in Toy Story 2, Al's finances don't appear to be doing so well. In a cut scene from Toy Story of Terror, we would have learned that Al went bankrupt and is living with his mom. Well, I guess crime doesn't pay. Anyway, this is where we get a first view of the Gigas. 
the hot new toy in Andy's neighborhood. They're giant mecha robots, and when Sora gets the galaxy toys, he can jump into them and control them. It seems these toys are Xehanort's primary reason for checking out the world. The organization is one darkness short, and seeing how the Gigas, these giant toys with heart, can be operated from the inside by other toys it seems like a promising clue to how the organization can go about reclaiming their missing vessel. It seems young Xehanort is also the cause of the disappearance of Andy and the rest of his toys. Sora and the gang must navigate through multiple themed levels of galaxy toys in order to pull off this rescue mission. What do you think? Can Sora and the crew rescue Andy? Or is this just another trap by Organization 13? Leave your thoughts in the comments and let us know what other worlds you're expecting to pop up in Kingdom Hearts 3. And we'll catch you next time. See you real soon.